And that's a clever free kick, which Curtis comes on to and scores from. Well, that was beautifully constructed. And the Manchester United man, John Curtis, gets his first ever league goal. With his left foot, of all things, and of all people to score it. But the 21-year-old Curtis gets his first ever goal against the team he would most want to score against Manchester City and Edgil send it up here towards Mills Kennedy's picked it up you can see how left footed he is but playing down the right flank today he's won a corner Beacons for one is in there in the six yard area so is Granville Kennedy clips it. Oh, and the goalkeeper's in trouble here. Sean Goethe just couldn't turn on it sufficiently well. But Miller had a problem there when that ball was swung across by Kennedy. Bodies all over the place. Manchester City having plenty of possession here, but not getting very far. Now they might. Tiato in a good position. And on goes Danny Tiato. Excellent play from him. Tinkler only stabs it down there and it comes off a Barnsley defender and out for the corner excellent play from the Australian Danny Tiato and there was a danger of bringing him down there but he cut the ball back in towards Lee Mills and the man on loan from Bradford City eager for a goal on his debut just couldn't force it through but wins a corner it's a Manchester City corner kick which is headed out by Thomas I think even uh, Lee Mills has been surprised by the events of the past few weeks. Uh, some papers suggesting that uh, he was not on speaking terms with Paul Jewell any longer at Bradford City. So he's come out on loan to Manchester City for the remainder of the season and there is a loan fee involved. Tinkler has played it directly into the path of Hignett who can make it two. goal right on half time it was Eric Tinkler who played him through and Craig Hickler who has scored so many many times in similar situations kept his cool nicked it past Nicky Weaver and Barnsley have a second goal it was a lovely ball from Tinkler Manchester City caught so so square and Craig Hignett goes on for his 16th goal of the season and his 30th Barnsley goal in 16 months at Oakwell. Whitley, can really drive forward from here. Gota, Bishop into the area. Gota going for the return with goalkeeping Kevin Miller. And a free kick awarded against Gota as he just dived in, I think. Yes, it's uh, no real complaint about the uh, striker's challenge. He had uh, every right to go for the ball. Barnsley uh, merely gaining ground at the moment, but this is where they want to be, having soaked up quite a lot of pressure in the half. It's in towards Shipperley. Here he is, Neil Shipperley. Might try and turn here and whip in a shot. He's done well as Shipperley, and he's got the corner. Shipley has had to win the Barnsley fans over. I think that's going to take it. Morgan's calling for it in the six-yard area, and it's beyond everybody. Shipley belted against the defender. Tinkler smashes it in. There's another shout. Chettle whacks it into the crowd. Well, that one literally could have gone anywhere. As the corner came over from uh, Craig Hignett, Manchester City were not able to do much. Neil Shipley found himself in a shooting position. Then Eric Tinkler. Finally, Steve Chettle. And none could find the mark. Van der Laar. And he'll try and play Hignett through. Hignett might finish the match here. Is it number three? Hignett took his time and Weaver's managed to save with his legs. And I wonder if Barnsley have to their best chance there and Hignett knows he had a golden opportunity 
Van der Laan played Hignett through with the angled ball. It was, uh, well, eyeball to eyeball with Nicky Weaver. Hignett tried to kid the goalkeeper, took his time, and then when he did put the shot in, the keeper got his legs to it. Here is Vikens now, and in the end he has to take action to get the ball away with uh, Shipley staring at him. Cut and thrust at the moment, and Tieto's over there. Curtis stride for stride with Tieto, who's done particularly well. Move just stymied for the moment until Whitley plays it in here. Pollock's got a chance, just into the side netting, and then it's back over towards Mills. It's punched away, and everything happening inside that Barnsley penalty area. So much drama, both ends of the field within seconds. But Teatro did so well there for Manchester City with Curtis going stride for stride with him. And then when the ball was eventually played into that penalty area, it seemed as though Manchester City might just achieve the breakthrough through Jamie Pollock. And it looked as though it was going to go into the side netting, but uh, Miller had kept it out, and then as it bobbled around, eventually Barnsley scrambled it from danger. They're here with the Van der Laan's pass now for Barker, for Hignett, Thomas, Hignett, Shipley, oh, should have scored. Delightfully constructed move. Three, four touches in there with Barker and Van der Laan and Hignett and Shipley on the end of it and uh, a call has been given. Barnsley's corner, Hignett to take. A lot of movement inside the penalty area, and Van der Laan gets his head to the ball. I think that with plenty of time to measure another cross in. Shipley! It must be surely no! Well, Shipley headed a cross goal there, Van der Laan was coming in, and it seemed that the ball had to end up in the Manchester City net. Up it goes from Weaver, and it's gone through for Mills, and might get a shot in here, Lee Mills turns it across, it might go in, it is, it's a goal for Manchester City. A curious goal as well. Gota may well have got the last touch on that. Gota and Dickoff both going in as Lee Mills nudged it across the area. And the ball ends up in the Barnsley net. Miller unable to do anything about it. City have a lifeline. Chateau not makes Hignett, then drives it cross field. City coming now with Dickoff. And his cross is towards Gota. There might be a chance for Kennedy to blast it through. Straight out of play. Well, that would have been tough on Barnsley if City had scored there. Barnsley would just keep battering away here. And they've scored a crucial victory in this War of the Roses over Manchester City. They move above Joe Royal's side in the table. Those two first half goals were sufficient, although Manchester City gave themselves a late lifeline. But three very valuable points indeed for Dave Bassett's Reds. Barsley 2, Manchester City 1.